As the kids are growing up and going away to college and starting their families, it's opening up the opportunity for our relationships as adults to move forward and improve and grow and just see what they can become. I have to decide every day, am I going to be a good sister wife today? Am I going to be a sister wife that I would want to be around? It's not about happily ever after, it's about ever after being invested. We have to continue to engage. We have to continue in a constructive dialogue with each other. And I might have to find myself reading the mission statement once in a while, reminding myself of the commitments that we've made. Sometimes it's nice to take a trip down memory lane and reminisce, go back in time, and reflect on what it is that has made us stick with the Brown family for so long. The commitment celebration of season six is one of those moments that has always stuck with me. I have also seen the commitment ceremony, the celebration, and the family mission statement mentioned quite a few times on social media like Reddit, Facebook, Instagram, so I wanted to talk about that in today's video. The family mission statement and this whole secondary wedding-like reception which came just a few years after Robin's big wedding and the adults made such a big deal about all of this. Like, why was it necessary to have custom dresses made? I truly hope that that fashion design student has emotionally recovered from her experience of creating these dresses because it was chaotic. Mary also tasks her sister who went to culinary school apparently with making the food for the entire event and Mary said that they were anticipating making 7,000 servings of food. I guess if you are loosely affiliated with the Brown family and you have a useful skill they will find a way to exploit it. I think Leon really summed it up for me. I understand like loving your family and like wanting to show people how much you love your family but no one has parties to like here look at my family look at how much we love each other like everyone knows we love each other I don't know yeah their choice tons of people have families tons of people love their families not everyone throws a party to show off to the entire world that just made me chuckle and I really miss all all of the kids getting together and sitting down for these interviews. It was one of the best parts of the older seasons of Sister Wives. But let's talk about this eerily prophetic disaster that was this commitment celebration and especially the whole big to-do of the family mission statement. Hey everyone, what's up? It's Sarah and welcome back to my channel. Before we jump into today's video, let's hear from today's sponsor. I am so excited to talk to you about today's sponsor, Scentbird. Scentbird is a monthly fragrance subscription service that is reimagining how people discover, shop for, and even accept experience fragrances. Scentbird lets you choose three new fragrances every month for just $17. They come in these really super cool, super cute, travel-friendly bottles. You will receive three fragrances every month. This month, I received East 12th by Ash by Ashley Benson. I received Kenzie's Zest for Life and my personal favorite new signature scent, Violet Gem by Catherine Malandrino. You get a 30 day supply. You get quite a bit of fragrance for just $17. Violet Gem smells so good, you guys. I can't even, I hope that you get this in your subscription boxes. An intoxication whirl into sweet notes of jasmine, violet, and coconut milk. You then have worldly notes of vanilla, exotic sun-kissed passion fruit, and sandalwood that combine to create a symphony like no other. With each sample, you receive a 30-day supply, which is really awesome because you get plenty of fragrance without having to commit to a full size 
size bottle. You can discover fragrances tailored specifically for you by taking a simple quiz on Scentbird's website. They base your results on your preferences, your purchase history, and your quiz results. So you can be sure that you will find a fragrance that you will love. If you are interested in trying Scentbird, I have a discount code for you. Use my code Reality Squad for 55% off your first month. Again, use my code Reality Squad for 55% off your first month at Scentbird.com. Scentbird, I just have to say thank you for letting me discover so many yummy new fragrances and for sponsoring this video. So just a few years after the big wedding for Robin and Cody, the Brown family decides that they need to have this commitment celebration to celebrate themselves as a family. They also want to show off to the whole world this family mission statement that all of the adults have worked really hard putting together with the help of their family therapist, Nancy, another ancillary character that I hope has emotionally recovered from her time with the Brown family. This commitment ceremony was taken very seriously by all of the adults, but not so much the kids because, you know, kids will be kids. I mean, Christine even knows the signs of a bad omen when she sees one. <laughs> no. We put the mission statements up and then one of them fell over. The wind blows them Okay, over. so that's another issue tomorrow. I'm hoping it wasn't poetic or anything like that, but is that indicative of the future? Is it? Back in the day, Cody was a big proponent of individual liberty, even for his children. And we see this argument play out when they have one of many rehearsals for this commitment celebration. Exactly how much choice should the kids get in this situation? So the next thing is we're actually going to read our mission statement and then we're gonna sign it and have all the kids sign it. What if we don't agree with our mission statement? If you don't like it or you don't agree with it, I'm not going to make you sign it. Anybody who disagrees with that mission statement? Then they better move out. Hates America. Oh, geez. Come on, man. Seriously? Oh, he is. So Madison, feisty Madison, in an attempt to ruffle Robin's feathers, just quips, well, what if we don't want to sign the mission statement? Cody predictably says something flippant that doesn't make a whole lot of sense when he says, well, that means you hate America. But Robin very seriously replies, well, then you have to move out. Excuse me? Cut to the adults sitting down in one of their joint couch interviews to discuss exactly how much choice they think the children should be allowed to have. I can't believe we worked so stinking hard on this mission statement and you're actually giving the kids a choice whether or not they're gonna sign it. If they don't want to just sign it, then I can't force them to sign it. The family mission statement means a lot more to the parents than it does to the kids, honestly. Here's the thing, we have an entire society of people telling us that our church and our culture I coerces know. I know. children I know. into plural marriage. I know, I'm not gonna coerce them into this either. Honestly, Cody's not wrong here, and I know that he is well aware of optics. I mean, you are battling this public perception that your religion is highly coercive, especially to young people. You probably don't wanna say things on national TV like if you don't sign this mission statement, get the fuck out of my house. So what exactly is the mission statement of the Brown family? Really the only pictures I could find of the family mission statement were screen grabs. So I have to say shout out to the Reddit user Goodbye Normal Jeans for transcribing the mission statement that was seen eventually hanging up on a wall. So this is the Cody Brown family mission statement. Our family is forever joined for the purpose of developing our own divine energy and raising righteous children. By our example and in a nurturing environment, we encourage respect for individual spirituality and development of integrity, strength, courage, compassion, and loyalty. As part of our family culture and identity, we seek to foster each child and adult finding his or her own sense of confidence through embracing true self and developing gifts and talents while discovering his or her own path. 
We teach, allow, and promote the value of making conscious and responsible choices in all aspects of our lives. As sister wives and husband, we embrace one another with a covenant of eternal nature. We share and appreciate our own and each other's profound personal goals, as well as our collective family goals, furthermore with forgiveness and a cloak of charity over one another's vulnerabilities, we challenge and support each other while reaching these goals. Our bodies being the temples for our spirits are the greatest physical assets given by our maker. We commit to enjoy and honor these gifts by educating ourselves and actively engaging in all elements of physical and spiritual fitness. We resolve to achieve well-being and longevity. We enjoy being together as a family because we have developed a safe, peaceful, and pleasant atmosphere where we love and respect one another. We intentionally organize fun parties, gatherings, and special events like the one you're attending to honor and celebrate individuals and achievements. We embrace a spirit of abundance in affection, time, opportunity, peace, wealth, prosperity, wisdom, and love. We choose to view our world through this framework of spiritual abundance for the purpose of blessing our family, all mankind, and glorify God. This family mission statement was signed at that commitment celebration that aired in 2014. So in less than 10 years, the family has pretty much violated every tenant of this mission statement that the adults worked so hard to put together. Cut to season 17, and now Cody's attitude is literally, if you're not with me, you're against me, F off. Children have to apologize and grovel in order to spend time with him and Robin, the one wife that he is allegedly still in full fellowship with. Kids have moved out, gone off to school, gotten married, had kids of their own, and they have made their own choices. And in direct contradiction to the family mission statement, if their life choices have gone against what Cody deems as right, then they are literally kicked out of the family in Cody's mind. I really thought that the adults were supposed to be encouraging and embracing the kids in developing their own paths in life. The biggest failure of this family mission statement was Cody. Where is this time, affection, and love that is spoken about in the mission statement? I mean, you talk about affection and love cut to 10 years later, Cody has delved into trying to force two of his wives into a sort of relationship purgatory where he refuses to divorce them, but he makes it very widely known that he has no interest in being intimate with them anymore. All three of Cody's original wives, Mary, Janelle, and Christine, have decided that they are better off without Cody around. A huge cause of discontent between Cody and many of his wives is Cody trying to force his wives to choose between him and their kids. So far, it seems that Robin has been the most successful into forcing her kids into submission, but her oldest kids are now getting into their 20s, and I just wonder how long she can keep that up for. My biggest takeaway from this commitment celebration and the family mission statement in general was just how much time and energy and money, frankly, the Brown family is willing to pour into the appearance of a functional, happy, healthy family, but the actual time and effort it would take into nurturing and fostering a healthy, unified family, they have not been willing to do that. Let's bring all of our family and friends and TV cameras together and let's show the world just how amazing we are as a family. Let's show everyone just how much more loving we are, how much more committed we are, and how much better we are because we are writing down our intentions in a mission statement. But that's where the effort stops. After the commitment celebration, that thing was hung up on a wall, set it and forget it style, and forgotten the mission statement was. 
I'm really interested to hear your thoughts, so let me know down in the comments. What are some of your favorite memories from seasons past of Sister Wives? Let me know too down in the comments. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Reality Squad, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Have a good one. Much love. Make sure you check out the link in the description of this video to check out Scentbird.